Hello YouTube, this is Al coming to you once again for Kindred Souls of Brooklyn and I'd like to thank everybody for tuning into my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Kindred Souls of Brooklyn, if you want to drop me a line, you can drop me a line at connection at kindredsoulsofbrooklyn.com or just leave a comment on the video. So with no further ado, I want to get into our topic tonight. It's the retirement of Elton John from touring. Today, January 24th, 2018, Elton John came out with a major announcement and he's going to embark on a 300 concert tour, 300 night concert tour, and it's going to last from 2018 up until 2021. He's calling it the Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour and after that he's going to retire from live performing. He didn't say he was going to retire uh, totally, he's still going to be creative, but up until all this time, over the last 50 years, Elton John has pretty much been a working musician. He's retired a few times, but this time it's going to be permanent. He wants to be with the uh, his children. He has a child uh, five and a child seven. And um, he wants to be with those children, with his partner. And he's calling it the Farewell Yellowbrook Road Tour. And anybody who knows music is going to recognize the picture behind me. That's the famous uh, album cover for Goodbye Yellowbrook Road which he's basing the title of this farewell tour off of. This album is considered to be one of the best albums ever produced and just a fabulous album. There's been so many hits off the album. Uh, Benny and the Jets, Funeral for a Friend, Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, and Candle in the Wind, just to name a few. Uh, it's a double album, two LPs, and um, just fantastic. But that's where he's getting the title from. And uh, I just think we should go out and support Elton. Elton's been a great performer all these 50 years. My favorite musical artist of all time. And I have a catalog here. This is a catalog of the first concert tour I ever saw of Elton John. It was uh, a 1979 tour. You can see it there, America Tour. And uh, he called it Back in the USSA. And it was just him and Ray Cooper. It was a, a tour that he did of small concert halls. He had retired in 1977 uh, from, from music and, and just kind of music changed, uh, things were changing and he went away. But then in 79, he wanted to perform again. So he went on the road with Ray Cooper, went to Russia, went to all the small arenas around uh, America, around the world, wanted to rediscover his music and his, and his piano playing. And it was the first time I'd ever seen Elton John perform live and seen him many times since then. And it was always special that first time seeing him. I remember going there with my brother and his uh, uh, fiance at the time. And also we got tickets from my sister and my brother-in-law. They had friends who the guy actually uh, was working for the place that was printing the tickets. So it was an amazing situation. My first time ever going to see Elton John in the old Palladium over in New York City. And at that concert was Mick Jagger. And it was quite amazing that we got to sit in the very first row. He had done, he was doing like 10 shows at that particular arena during that concert time. And it was during Halloween. And uh, it was just fantastic. And we walked in there and we thought we, we sat on the far left in the front. And they chased us away. And we were so depressed because we kind of thought that we were going to be sitting in the back. And the guy who was the usher at the time, he brought us over and right to the middle, dead center of the arena, first row. I got to shake Elton John's hand. It was pretty amazing. But this is the uh, booklet from that. But getting back to the topic at hand, I think we should all go out and support Elton. Elton's doing, doing this tour as a thank you for everybody buying his records and coming out and sponsoring him over these last 50 years. And we should go out there because if you've never seen Elton John play in concert, he's totally amazing. He plays a very, very long show. He plays a show almost three hours long. And that was one of the reasons why he blew out his voice back in, 19, uh, in the mid-80s. And he had to have throat surgery. So his voice is much deeper than it was when he first started. But it was these amazingly long shows that he did. And uh, he's just amazing. Plays a very long show. He's very good. He comes out and takes pictures with people. Uh, there's always uh, uh, people there who he's dedicating something to or giving some award to or something. It's, it's amazing. My son and I saw his most recent uh, tour over at the Barclays Center here in Brooklyn. And it was amazing. It was a New Year's Eve tour. And he went live on New Year's uh, right at midnight on national TV. And it was absolutely hysterical. He, uh, you could actually uh, see uh, 
this on, on I should actually upload the video one time because it's funny because he's actually trying to figure out it was about five minutes to midnight and he's trying to figure out what time it is and he's going all over the stage and it was odd nobody had like a watch or a phone handy and they just weren't sure because the network was going to cut in right at 12 o'clock and he was trying to figure out the time and he you know if you've never really seen Elton John Elton John's kind of got like short legs and he has this little waddle when he walks and it's kind of funny and he was waddling like all around the stage and after he asked three or four people um, we didn't know what he was doing after he asked three or four people uh, what the time was and they didn't know he, he goes on the microphone and he says I'm just I'm not going to repeat exactly what he says because I like to keep my channel G rated and he says to everybody I'm just trying to find out what the effing time is in that British accent it was just it was priceless so probably I'll upload that uh, one time or other. But once again, folks, Elton John, major announcement today. Uh, embarking on the tour. It's going to start in 2018. I believe it's coming to Madison Square Garden where I am on October 24th. So my son lives in Alabama, but I'm going to definitely have my son come in for that show. And Because uh, we've seen a lot of shows with Elton John. We've seen him by himself. We've seen him with Billy Joel. Uh, Elton John has like three different shows that he does. He does one with the one with the band. He does one with uh, him by himself. He does the the Vegas tour with the Red Piano. But this is going to be, uh, I imagine, a band tour. And what's going to be amazing is because this is going to be his farewell tour. You could bet your bottom dollar that lots of stars are going to be coming out. You're going to see all kinds of recording stars going out for a tribute uh, to Elton John. So if you go to one of these shows. Guaranteed, you're going to see some really big names out there along, you know, in, you know, walking by you or something like that. So, once again, Elton John, major, major news. Go out and buy the tickets. Let's support Elton John. He's been a fabulous performer these past 50 years. Brought us lots of joy. Those of us who are Disney fans, uh, Lion King music. It's it, it's it's endless. It goes on and on. So, folks, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Thanks for joining me tonight for this very special announcement. And um, I'll see you on the Yellow Brick Road on the concert tour. Uh, it's one way or another, most likely. Thanks for tuning in for Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And see you real soon. Have a good night, folks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.